Well, it's slow, but I think I'll take it anyway. Just need to get some runs out of stage one. You get stuck there for ages if you too much of a perfectionist. I don't need a perfect run to get some bait. Amongst the worst patterns you can get for this special stage, so not going to save any time there or any significant time. <clears throat> stage. Got the difficult back attacks at the end there. And this is average RNG. That's fairly okay. Two guys on the left there keep bunching up as if they want to give me the triple down stab birth charge at me, but not today. That is an extremely rare pattern, though, so would be very surprised to get it. skeleton with the downstab, that's fortunate. Got a 50-50 chance there, he can do the downstab or he can just charge to the right, which wastes about 3 seconds, so happy to get that. Lost time still, but I can make this time back up in the last two stages, if I keep the next two clean. Would be nice to get the triple down stab here. That could save some time. Good. And the back attack. Okay. 
if the skeletons behave and I don't take any extra hits, then this could save time. Very good skeletons. Yeah, that should be a nice green split. Could be quite close to gold, actually. Pretty flawless. It's going to be a chance for a PB. So just need a clean Deathbringer, if that's possible. Nope. Ah, oh, I've done it. <laughs> At last. And that's a late split as well, so that's probably... 7.58. That's hit the sub-8 goal. Pretty happy with that. Obviously disappointed to get hit on Deathbringer again. Supposed to be fairly consistent. I've just been struggling a lot with it on Axe Battler for some reason, but yeah. A lot of red at the start of that run, but I think that Palace Gates and Dungeon pretty much saved it. So yeah, I'll watch the credits all the way through as it's a new PB slash world record. It'll probably last about as long as the run did, quite a long credit. So yeah, the In the Woods, I think that went okay apart for him. I took a hit from the Bad Brothers at the end, which wastes a lot of time. Okay RNG on stage one camp. Turtle Village, I think I missed the triple, no, yeah, the triple back attack. Um, stage 2 camp was horrible. So the mainland was very good actually, I think that was nearly perfect. Uh, stage 3 camp, average, Weagle Island, uh, made that mistake on the three sort of stone guys, but I got the good skeleton at the end. Stage 4 camp was okay, the palace went really well, palace gates, that was a perfect gold. The dungeon went very well too, and then just took that one hit on Deathbringer, and I chickened out and did a charge attack instead of going straight for the down stab, so I played it safe on the recovery as well. So yeah, I could have saved an extra 4 seconds off that Deathbringer fight, but didn't need to. Got the sub 8. So if I'm going to continue on with Gold Max, it's probably going to be Gilius runs, but I might take a break. Plus I need to I need to relearn the route for Gilius. It's changed a bit since I set the current world record, which is about three years old now. Um, and the strategies have changed quite a lot, so I can probably get a much faster route, but I'm almost certain that sub is impossible with Gilius still at the moment. He doesn't have the use of any useful magic. At least Axe Battler gets up to stage 4 which can clear some other packs, but with Gilius you might as well just not use it. It doesn't 
doesn't do enough damage to be worth it. And his um, jump and attack together does a, a rolling ground attack, which is useful in some cases, but the, the one you get with Tyrus Nax Battle is more useful for speedrunning just because it's close quarters. You don't have to get distance away from stuff to be able to hit them. Because if you do a rolling ground attack with Gilius and you're standing next to someone, you just roll past them. I suppose I could always learn Golden Axe too. <laughs> I think I've got the cartridge for that lying around somewhere. Although I think it's the European cartridge, so I'd probably have to get a Genesis version. Assuming it runs slower on EU. I've still got a bit of time left on the stream, so I might just mess around with Gilius for a bit. Crazy to think that Axe Battler could get sub 730. We've got absolutely no interest in doing that at the moment, though. If anyone else wants to try, they can be my guest, but that's going to take some serious grinding. Okay, nearly over. 